Hello, welcome to Soul Horoscope, Zodiac Weather. My name is Christopher Wataki, and I'm your stand-up astrologer. Well, it's now Tuesday, October 26, 2000, and Zen. The sun's now progressed to three degrees, Scorpio, and the moon today is in solid Gemini. Let's take a look at today's planets. Well, we're getting started in the Scorpio vibration, and let's start with the story with the sun. We're in chapter one of Sun and Scorpio. The whole planet's really working on boundaries and trust issues. I think during this course of the month, we're going to find a lot of boundaries being drawn. Not surprising, the national elections and elections everywhere are in Scorpio. And for individuals today, the Sun is ruled by Jupiter. That means it's time to explore. Let's get outside and look at what our boundaries issues are. Let's look at what the Scorpio issue is. And this year, let's consider and include Venus retrograde. Venus retrograde in Scorpio, which is now beginning to conjunct the sun, says, are you loving yourself when you face this Scorpio issue? So in each of your horoscopes, I'll be talking about Venus retrograde and talking about how the last time Venus was retrograde was the fall of 2002, in Scorpio that is. Also, I talk about the moon. While we're exploring our options, we're also talking about it. The moon is in Gemini, putting emotional focus on communication and processing. So we literally are exploring what our boundary issues are. We're looking at how we love ourselves or don't love ourselves, and we're communicating it or processing it internally. But before we click on your horoscope, let's take a look at the modes of each of our brothers and sisters and what you're asking today when it comes to love. And let's start with those air signs. Gemini, sunny, charismatic, and cool. It's time to love your body and lifestyle as you move forward with a new one. The Librans, cloudy, self-reflective, doing a lot of learning today. Your question is, do you get what you are really worth? You understand your value. That's loving yourself in a uh, soul capital way. And the Aquas, sunny, childlike, and playful. Question to you, do you love what you do for your career? Now on to those fire signs. Aries, partly sunny, spaced out, doing a lot of exploring today for the Rams. Do you love yourself when you say yes to someone? So when you're opening up, are you loving yourself? The Leos, sunny, outgoing, and social. Your question is, is your home loving you or your home situation? And the Sagittarius is partly cloudy, affectionate, and sentimental today. Are you forgiving yourself, Sag, for the past? Now on to those earth signs. Taurus, sunny, productive, and exploring. Are you loving yourself when you enter into marriages and partnerships? The Virgos, sunny, professional, and sharp. Your question is, are your thoughts to yourself loving or cruel? And the Capricorns, cloudy, sensitive, and hyper aware of your reality. Do you love your social life? Do your friends love you? Then on to those water signs. Cancer, cloudy, spiritual, doing a lot of learning today also. Your question is, how much do you play and have fun? In other words, are you loving your inner child? The Scorpios, happy birthday. Cloudy, strong, and chance of Randy already. How much do you love yourself? It is your birthday after all. And the Pisces, cloudy, nesting, and resting today. Do you feel knowledgeable or do you feel ignorant? That's love for your own knowledge, basically. All right, that's all we have for today's Zodiac Weather. Make sure you click on your horoscope for the details of where you're self-loving or not self-loving. And we're out there under a very bipolar or twin moon and Gemini. Well, I'm in the studio covering your astro.